In this video, we are going to solve a very interesting question under projector motion. So the question is saying, a young boy shoots a stone from a catapult at a speed of 15 meters per second. The catapult is pointed 40 degrees above the horizontal. Part A, or part 1, how far horizontally from the catapult does the stone travel when it leashes at the same level as the catapult. But two, how long does the stone take to reach this level? So first we need to come up with a free body diagram. Okay. So as we can see they are saying from the level ground, meaning that this is the second trajectory where we are going to have the ground. Okay. We have the ground and then someone is, you have a catapult here, then it's moving in this direction. It goes there until it reaches there. So we are going to have the range, which is the horizontal, that is part A, that is the range. So we know that it is at an angle of, we have been given the velocity to say that the initial velocity is 15 meters per second squared. So at this point we are going to call this as the maximum height h max and we know that the moment it reaches at the maximum height the final velocity is zero. Okay now from here what I'm going to do is we have the angle here which is 15 which is uh, 40 degrees. So what I'm going to do is the same as we have the velocity, then the angle is here. This is the 40 degrees. So this angle, this velocity, we're going to have the V, and then we're going to have the Vx and the Vy. So this velocity which we have here, we can say that we have, if we want to find the Vx, Vx is going, using Sokatoa, is going to be V cos theta. So we can find the Vx. Vx is going to be equal to, uh, or let's just leave it there to say V cos x. Then if we want to find the Vy using Sokatoa, we know that Vy is going to be V sin theta. Okay, so let's, let's leave it there. Now, we want to find the range. Okay, so to find the, this horizontal they are talking about here, how far horizontally from the catapult does the stone travel when it reaches at the same level as the catapult? They are asking about the range. So to find the range, range is given by uh, Vx times t, but the time, it is the time it, it was in air. Now to find the time, what we are going to do is, the time, let's denote this one to be part A, then this to be part B, this to be part C. Now to find the time, what we are going to do is, let me just get rid of this, then put it here. Vx times t. To find the time, we are going to say that since it's going up, we are going to use this V final is equal to V initial plus gt. Okay, that would be the time from A all the way to B. Now, to find the time from A all the way to C, the time which we are going to find here times 2, that will be the formula now. Okay? That will be the time. So, what we are going to do is, since we are talking about the motion in y direction, okay? Meaning that we are going to say that V, F, or we say Vy, F, final, Vy, final is equal to Vy, initial, plus G, T. Okay? But Vy, final is 0. Okay, so I'm going to replace this one zero. This Vy is V sin theta. V sin theta plus the G value when it's going up is going to be negative times T. We want to find the T. I'll shift this to the other side. I'm going to have negative V sin theta is equal to negative GT. We divide both sides by uh, negative G, even here by negative G. So our T is going to be V sin theta everything divided by g. So this is the time from a all the way to b. Okay, so this is the formula for the time from a all the way to b. So we can say that the time from a to b is v sin theta over g.
Now to find the time from A all the way to C, the time from A to B is the same as the time from B to C. So we can just get times 2, okay? So the time from A to C is going to be is going to be 2 V sin theta over G. Then we are done. That will be the formula for T. Okay? So if you want, you can plug in direct there or you can find the time from here. Let's find the time. Okay? So 2 times the V is 15 sin the theta is 40. Everything divided by 9.8. So what we are going to do is we are going to say that 2 times 15 is 30. So 30 sin 40 everything divided by 9.8. That gives us the time to be uh, 1.96, which is the same as 2.0 seconds. Okay? That is the time. Meaning that what I'm going to do now is to find the horizontal distance. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that um, the length is Vx times t. So Vx is V cos theta. Okay? So we're going to say that V cos theta times t. t is 2. So we're going to say that length is going to be equal to v is 15. Then we have cos 40 times the 2. So we're going to say that 15 uh, cos 40 then times 2, which is giving me 22.98, which is the same as 23. Okay? So the length is 22.98 meters or you can say that the range is 23.0 meters so that is the answer for party a so this is how you come up with the formulas and how to to find the time so if they ask the time in air that is the formula which you are supposed to use to find the time this is the second trajectory then part two is saying how long does the stone take to reach at the to reach this level so it is the same time they're asking about the time so you do the same method or you just use the same one the answer is two seconds okay because you can't find the range without finding the time okay so the answer for part two how long does the stone take to reach this level the answer is two seconds so this is how you solve such kind of questions 